I want to tell you that day, there was this incredible light. This nothing I could ever try to reduplicate. It came through there. The one was like this different, I can't describe it to you, it was just different luminescence and just different intensity. It was different than any light I've ever seen. And um, they were in there for a while. I remember the doctor that said, call the family in. You're not going to make it more than 24 hours. They uh-huh. walked out of that room. The system was different. I could feel it. And that moment, from work would walk up to me. She said, son, your father's going to be fine. He's surrounded by the angels of the board. And I felt it. I want you to know something. He survived another 26 years. I thought he went outside and did this again. But this was. Wow. Didn't stop him. He was on the go. Yeah. He'd go to doctor's appointment. I'd go with him. He'd tell him, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know why you're still alive. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Wow. It's an amazing, amazing thing. The Lord is amazing. It's His power that's amazing. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. Surrender. Surrender. He loves you. He's not here to beat you down. He's not here to drag you through the mud. He's not here to tell you how horrible you are. You know, you hear that in a lot of places today. But I'm here to tell you because I walked through it. That's not the God I know. I think the Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I know. That's not the Holy Spirit that I know. Stop. Stick in your fire. James 4, verse 8. Look it up. Wow. And I'm just looking back at everything we're just talking about. I can truly really see God's hand on my life. Um, from the young child, you know, doing the things that you were wrong and not getting caught, you know, um, trying to commit suicide and it didn't work. Um, your stepdad getting healed, you know, and you, you've seen God's hand in that situation where God has had you since you were so young, and that's because He loves you and He has it. He has it such a major call in your life, and you're walking it out right now. And that's the same for everybody else out there, you know. If you just sit back and take a look at your life and say you can probably pinpoint times or things happen and you're surprised that you're still here or you're wondering how you got away with something, God's got your back and He loves you. Amen. Amen. He really does. You know, God, we need to cross that into the network. Cross it in our own. There's been so many other instances. Oh, yeah. You know, when I was working on the fire truck, I was trying to run to a house that fire so weird. Some stuff fell through. Um, I could have died. I didn't die. I had these crazy burns on uh, my neck, which killed me, you know. Yeah. I mean, God put himself to me so many times, but I was still gone. You know, as a child, um, and many horrible things happened to me as a child. And that's one thing that God has given me a tremendous love for the children of today. But it's, it's such a sensitive place where you feel like you can't talk about it. You want to overprotect. You want to hate. And Jesus just says, I want to love. That's, that's the enemy trying to come in and steal your childhood. Trying to steal the purity of what God's placed there. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it begins to cycle in people's minds. And I just, I want to tell you guys, Jesus can deliver you from anything. I know the church is well balanced. They operate by the Word of God, but they also operate by the Spirit of God. But it's a balance. And you have the Word and you have the Spirit. I don't talk about the Holy Spirit of God being, you know, moving there. The church is submitting to what he wants to do. Find a church like that. You know, I just did some members here in my church. 
you know, I'm still going to Lakewood being in the week back then, but I don't know, four or five years ago, it's been a while, I began to go to uh, Victory Christian Center when I go to church now on the Friday night. And uh, it's great healing services, we, you know, we know the services on Friday night. And uh, begin to go there and just receive some tremendous healing. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I begin to also receive a greater anointing from the Lord. So, I guess, you know, we're about to jump over and start asking about answer questions, but I want to encourage you guys, you're never too far, never ever too far from God. You're never too far from Jesus Christ, because He died for you, He died for me. It's His blood that covers our sins. He atoned for us, so the atonement of His blood for us. Mm-hmm. So, I just uh, I bless you guys in Jesus' name. Um, and I also feel like, and if you have any questions, if you feel like you're too far gone, if you feel like life is, is over, if you feel anything, you know me. You go to our website at livebyfaith.tv. You know me. You know Diana, any of our team, we are here for you, but if you want to email me, I'll answer your email. I'll talk to you. I'm here for you. God gave me life, and I'm here to share that love and that life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Diana, tell us something. You know, a lot of people look at you and they think you've been through this great parade, you know, everything's perfect in your life, and you've been this perfect girl since, you know, childhood, and had no issues at all, and I'm sure you have something, um, a different picture to paint. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're right, you know, a lot of times people see me, they think I'm not younger than I am, first of all, but a lot of times they don't realize, you know, that um, I've been through a lot in my life, you know, and so it's true. I want to ask you something. Um, you guys, here we go. We're on, we're on the run here. Yeah, okay. But you guys, uh, you know, growing up, what was the place for God? Growing up, you know, I always knew there was a God, and He always had a place for me. I always had a place for Him in my heart. I always had a place for you. Yeah, He had a place for me, but I always had a place for Him in my heart, even though I didn't quite understand everything about Him. I just thought that He was just this thing that was just looking over everyone. I didn't understand. You know, Jesus and what he did and salvation and everything. So I, I grew up with the sense of having morals and, and values and everything and, and believing in God, but not necessarily having that relationship and fellowship with him. And then because I went to Catholic school and, you know, they talked to us about God there. And so I always grew up with an idea of who he was, but not really truly knowing. So you kind of, I guess, left the same path. Well, on the on the knowing that God, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's wild. Mm-hmm. So, what is, you know, what is it you come to the Lord? I mean, where were you in your life? I have to say, when I was a teenager and I started going to some church, you know, and I you know, I saw that God was real. Like He actually was moving, and He touched people, and He cared about people. And it was at that point that I decided, you know, to give Him my heart. You know, even still at that point, I was 13, and I didn't quite understand everything. I just never believed in Jesus, and I did not believe in what he did for me, so I started my life for him. And starting high school, was, you know, really on fire for him and everything. But when I turned 18, it's kind of when my life went down for, for about five years. Really? Yeah. What happened? Um, well, when I turned 18, I just got, got the idea in my head that. You know, I don't want a boyfriend, you know, I'm 18 now, because I didn't have a boyfriend, so I was 18. I was like, I'm an adult, and I can have a boyfriend. Um, everything was great, whatever, you know. But we broke up, and I went through like, this crazy hard time after we broke up, you know, first boyfriend, first whatever. And um, found out, like, one of my best friends right after we broke up with, started dating him. So, I mean, that may seem, seem to some people minimal, but at the time when we were there, I was like, so crazy and so hard. And so after that, I was I met the same guy. I couldn't meet him. I knew him since I was 12, but I saw him again. 